Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are doing really well. I am Yugandhara Tarele and we are learning about engineering fundamentals and different codes in civil and structural engineering. So today we will learn about moment of inertia and center of gravity. What is moment of inertia? Mm, let's take an example. Suppose this is a beam and I want to bend it about this axis. So it will be really easy. But if I rotate it like this and now I am trying to bend it. It is hard. I am not able to bend it even in both the directions. So let's take another assume. This is a bridge connecting to these two supports. This is our man walking on this. Or you can assume it as a weight. So, it is very easy to bend it, but I rotate it like this and now I am trying to bend it. It is really difficult. So, this is because of moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is the geometric property of this area at which the elements are distributed about certain axis. So when we keep our bridge or these speak notes like this then middle of it is our axis can you see and distance of the extreme elements for example distance of this first page from the axis of these nodes is small Turn it like this and this is our axis. So distance of this extreme element from this axis is large. So it is difficult to bend when I hold it like this. With the help of experiment with this stick notes we understood moment of inertia but it is actually second moment of area in civil or in mechanics we call it as a moment of inertia don't get confused with moment of inertia that is related to rotation of the objects so what is a moment of inertia? It is the ability of this section to resist its bending. How to calculate moment of inertia of a body? Mm, we will learn in the subsequent videos. But for to calculate moment of inertia, you will need one important thing that is center of gravity so now you will ask what is this center of gravity hmm you might be familiar with this disc you play games with this so what is the shape of this object right it is 
circular so this circular object it consists of one point at which if i support it like this see then it will get supported on just one point so can you see hmm this is not a magic you might be playing in your schools like rotating this disc about that point so this is that point yes you are correct it is center of this circular object so center of gravity or centroid is the point at which whole weight of this body is assumed to be concentrated so when i hold it on that point i support this on the center it stays like this so in the previous experiment the disc was circular so we knew that center of the circle is also it's a centroid but is there any experimental way to find out centroid of any random shape yes there is so for that i have taken this piece of a cardboard i have taken it in a rectangular shape so that we can verify it with the help of maths and our experiment the result will be same so i have taken this rectangular cardboard and weight this is the weight this is the lock and this is the pin i have made a plumb can you see so we will hang this shape at this pin i have hang it and the weight and marked an axis about this line so we got one axis let's take another point i have hang about the second point and mark the axis which is following this plumb now we got these two axes we got these two axes and this is the intersection point of this axis check now i will try to support it at that point oh see it is well balanced at that point yes we found out the cg or centroid but if you observe this shape 
very carefully. It is the midpoint of two diagonals of this rectangle. So it is length by two and width by two. So these are the coordinates of this rectangle. So using this same procedure, can you find out the geometric center of the map of your own country? Yes, you can do that.